Hi church, good morning. Um, yeah, thanks for this opportunity to give you guys a bit of an update about what I'm doing. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Hannah. I've been living in South Africa for nearly eight years now. I'm volunteering with a missionary organization called Timion. Um, our heart is to help families that have children with physical disabilities, specifically cerebral palsy. We make equipment, uh, disability equipment, so chairs or walkers or frames. Um, and we give them away for free to children in need in the township areas in South Africa. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been part of here for the past eight, well, nearly eight years. Um, time flies, so yeah, I've been here a while now. Um, as you can see, I'm here in my, in my bedroom. Um, we are also in lockdown. This is our fifth week now of um, having lockdown in South Africa, but our lockdown is quite extreme. So. Um, yeah, we were very pleased that the government, uh, the president made a very quick decision early on to put us all down into lockdown here into South Africa. So, um, yeah, we have not been able to do anything apart from go to the shops if we need to or go to the pharmacy. So no going for walks or, yeah, no small gatherings um, for five weeks now. So it's been um, an interesting time. Uh, that has obviously meant that uh, the ministry is a non-essential uh, organization in yeah in that way so we also had to close the doors for Timion so I had quite a busy time beforehand just trying to get as much set up so that people could carry on as much as possible from home so all the guys have got hand tools um, they're t trying to keep going with some basic woodwork at home and most of the girls have uh, the outreach team the ones that would normally go and visit the families in the homes obviously we're not able to do that in this time um, so yeah, we've been catching up with much needed admin and things that we never get time to. So um, it has been a very timely pause for us just to kind of catch up and stop, slow down a little bit. And we're just going through a, a process now to refocus and to see um, everybody's talking about the new normal. Obviously things won't go back to the same as they were before. It's the same for here, yeah, with us as well. Um, really just having some time to see um, what things were we maybe busy with that we shouldn't have been busy with and what things should we put our energies and our focus on um, as we start to reopen. Um, I think as in most countries there's been quite a push to um, lift lockdown because of economic reasons. Um, in South Africa the reality is that that's extreme. Um, people don't have much back up much spare so if they're not working if they're not earning then they don't have money for rent and they don't have money for food and um, yeah the the situation within the township areas um, can escalate extremely fast there's a lot of overpopulation there's a lot of uh, people living in extremely dense environments so um, that's been the fear in South Africa that when the virus hits the township that it will just um, spread like wildfire. Um, so thank goodness so far it's had a rather slow um, curve growth. We are now increasing um, and there are now more people who are critically ill and passing away unfortunately but it has been um, an unprecedented slow um, increase which I think we've been all very thankful for. So yeah if you can pray for um, families who don't have food, families who are at risk of losing a lot, um, losing houses, losing businesses, um, yeah and then obviously the risk of more people being infected. I don't think this is a new story, I think it's the same all around the world but um, yeah the impact in South Africa could be ex extreme. So yeah, just a bit of an update for those of you, thank you so much who've been praying and helping uh, for Latemba, the young boy who had the surgery. Um, just to let you know, the surgery went um, relatively well and he's recovered well from that. Um, they operated on one hip, he didn't need two hips, thank goodness, to be operated on, um, but the one hip uh, they were able to operate on so that he's now in much less pain and he's actually able to sit. So that was the goal of all of this is so that he could actually um, have a different position that he wouldn't have to stay in bed all the time and that his pain would be reduced. So yes, thank you so much everybody for all of your support and your prayers in that. Um, yeah, he's doing well. Okay, thanks so much everybody and hopefully see you soon at some point whenever we can fly again. Okay, take care. Bye.